What's up? How are you guys today? Actually, wrapping up the day here at Frankie's Free Range Meat. We started at around 7 in the morning. It's now about 2 p.m. And I'm glad I waited until now <laughs> to, to film this because I'm just freaking out the whole day over stupid stuff. And it's, honestly, it's really just stress from not having like a reliable source of all of our products. So I'm always you know, going to all the vendors saying, hey, do you have this, that, that? And I'm just uh, always freaking out that I'm gonna run out of something. And Because what really happens is I get something back in stock for you guys and then I'm out of something else. So it's never really fully back, but uh, I'm trying to stay positive, trying to stay focused and hopefully, you know, a year or two or now, none of this stuff matters and you know I, I said the same thing you know the stuff i was worrying about a year two years ago when i started the business now it's not as much of an issue but there's always something there's always something and you know in this haze of stress i forgot to do a memorial day promotion thankfully uh, one of the vendors did pull through and we do have plenty of bone and ribeye so if you guys want some bone and ribeye for memorial day which is next monday be sure to order today. I'll try to get all the orders out to arrive before this weekend so you guys have everything nice and ready. Uh, we're gonna do these thick bone and ribeyes. I'll show you them right now. And I'll also show you guys the other products uh, we have available this week that are new and on sale. And then we'll just take a look around and talk some more. So all the meat orders are already done. Got about four pallets of orders today. We still have maybe like 20 or 30 foods orders because we ran out of the vanilla best bars so i will get those out to you guys within a day or two it should arrive you know by thursday or friday sales this week we have five pound ground venison which is way too cheap i put this at 35 dollars, and you guys basically bought all of it um, i got this at a, a pretty low price and since it's you know five pounds it's not that convenient i mean still way too underpriced so on the topic of ground, we have a new super lean top around ground. Uh, this is a one pound package. I would say this is 95.5, maybe even a little bit leaner because those specks of fat are the only fat in this. There's like no, no other fat. That's the only fat that you can see. We have some eye round roasts. I believe these are about 2.5 pounds each. And I think I have them listed only for $15. Great price on these. Nice little roast. I mean, definitely not a summer thing, but very affordable. We got some Wagyu sirloin in. It's not crazy, crazy marbling, but it's consistent speckles throughout and it's super, super tender. So these are gonna be nice, affordable. I think only like five or $6 each. And this is our pretty big bone and ribeye. These are about one kilogram, 2.2 pounds each. And I think they're only $35. If you look anywhere else online for a steak like this, you're gonna pay 50, 60, 70 dollars. So this is our Memorial Day special for you guys. A lot of salt, a lot of pepper on the grill. Your family, your friends are gonna love these. 100% grass fed, nice amount of fat, nice fat cap, bone in. Probably my favorite cut of meat in general. And of course, let me know how you guys like this stuff, if there's anything else uh, you would like me to try to get you. Uh, in addition to those uh, vanilla bar orders that were delayed, also if you guys ordered water kefir, I'm trying to get those out as well as soon as possible. Frankie's Naturals, Wi-Fi shielding, all the orders are out. I'm trying to get a lot of the clothing back in stock on Wi-Fi shielding. I know a lot of you guys have been asking me about that. Uh, the Nature's Glucose, I don't have anything ready yet. It might take a couple months. I'm sorry about that, guys. Uh, the salts should be back in stock this week. Uh, we're trying to get beef belly, we're trying to get organ grind, trying to get a couple of things back in stock. I might uh, end up getting this bandsaw. Uh, hopefully the meat dehydrator comes within a month or so. I know I asked you guys last video if I should order that and like before the video even published, I just said, screw it, I pulled the trigger. I took some money out of my personal savings and I just um, got the dehydrator. Hopefully I don't have to get a larger one, but Ideally that comes, we really get some production up and running. Uh, we have some dried ground beef for you guys, pemmican, meat granola, all back in stock, jerky especially. I'm really looking forward to that. What I'm not looking forward to is how much this electrician and HVAC guy are gonna charge me to set all this crap up. I have a feeling, you know, after spending 
5,000 on the dehydrator, it's gonna be another three or 4,000 in electrical wiring, as well as HVAC stuff. I mean, ideally it's not more than 2,000, hopefully it's around 1,500, I think that would be a fair price for it, but we'll see. And that's definitely something to look forward to though. So there's not really much going on today outside of me overlooking that Memorial Day sale, which is important enough for me to make this video right now. And I didn't really want to do a sale or push anything because you know, we have plenty of different products. We're already the lowest price online and I've been having a hard time keeping some things in stock. So I wanted to kind of lay off for a week, but completely forgot about the Memorial Day stuff. And I know you guys like uh, doing special things for your family. Uh, we do also have some burgers. Uh, if you guys want that, I got to make sure that we have them in stock on the website. So whether you want to just throw a couple burgers on the grill or that nice bone and ribeye, we'll get them to you by this week. Uh, something else that you guys have been buying a lot of is the pork, the Iberico baby back ribs and the St. Louis ribs, uh, especially compared to the pork that most people have access to. And that seems like a pretty popular barbecue dish even in the South. Uh, in regards to, you know, I guess the intermediate future, I do have an accountant just writing up some more documents, profit and loss stuff for my loan applications. So hopefully I can get that done within a week or two. I know we were talking about that like two months ago, but you know, with, with the tax season and everything and every accountant being so busy and me not realizing how much paperwork I had to do for these loans, it's delayed a little bit. So hopefully everything works out and I get some answers before I completely lose my mind. But until then, I'm stuck down here. So we got most of the cheeses back in stock. I did want to apologize that you know, the prices of food, cheese, meat, especially, everything's going up. And I think each of the cheeses went up, you know, at least three or four dollars per pound. So I had to increase the price on the website. I was basically just giving the cheese away for the past two months, uh, just because I know you guys liked it so much. So, you know, if the cheese sales do go down, I wouldn't be surprised. But again, we're still cheaper than even the local grocery store. Uh, so let me know what you guys think about that. Now, I shouldn't be as tired and exhausted because I hired an extra person so that I can come in at like nine or 10 in the morning and we can have just like two or three people just to do everything. And then I can leave reasonably early. So basically just really crunch down the workday so I don't have to sit two, three hours in my car and rush hour traffic and uh, you know, not have to kill myself over this business. So hopefully, over the next few weeks, I start feeling a lot better. And, and that should really be the case uh, if I start sleeping more and uh, relaxing a little bit. Speaking of two or three hours of traffic, I'm gonna wrap this up so that I can get out of here before the traffic gets bad. Uh, so thank you guys for joining me today. Of course, thank you guys for all the continued support. Let me know how you like our new recent product additions, if there's anywhere we can improve. And of course, if you ever have any problem with your order, just please send me an email. If I don't respond to an email, if you know it's like, for the naturals, the Wi-Fi shielding, the organ supplements, just email me again. I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, you can check all that stuff out on frank Subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week. Check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Therefore, please sign up for the newsletter on frank Thanks again, guys. I'll see you for tomorrow.